Welcome to another Access video. Today we're going to show you how to create a combo box that will act as a filter for your form to bring up a specific record. We'll use a little bit of VBA, we'll use a, a combo box built on a query and be able to make it actually quite quick and easy to use. So let's take a look at our database. This form is a really elegant looking form. We're going to use a similar form to this that has all the same functions and features. Um, but what you'll notice about this one is the only way to get to a particular vehicle here to look at it is to go down here to the form, you know, record controls and click the next record over. And so you can, you know, thumb through the records this way, but it's not very effective if you want to see a specific vehicle quickly or maybe see what your inventory is and show that to a customer. So we're going to take and put a combo box up in the upper part of the form that allows you to go to a specific vehicle wherever it is in the database very quickly. So we'll close this form that's already been made and bring up an example, one that we have half built here so that we can show it quickly, okay? So I have a quick search combo box already built up here. And that combo box is gonna be what we use to help us to get to or drill into a particular vehicle very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and put this in design view. And what you'll notice is that this combo box right here is called CBO Quick Search. Okay, that's our combo box and we're using the prefix CBO to represent the type of item that it is on the form. So what we want to do here is go look at the data. Here the data is going to be a query called Query Products quick search. And if you look over here in our list, we have this one listed right here. So we want to take a look at that one really quick and see what it gives us. Because it's really important what the inf what information is coming from the combo box. So here you have the long description and here you have the product ID. So it's going to present both of these and when we run this, it looks like, like that. Now, we'll take an, and do some quick manipulation like we did in the previous film about combo boxes so that we don't have to show our product ID. By looking at here, this is the bound column. Here, we're gonna limit to the list and we're going to basically only show, by going here to format, only show the first column. Notice the first column is two inches here. The second column is zero. And so by that, we are able to show the first column, but not the second column. So when we look at that combo box, we're gonna see the long description, but notice the column count is two. So we're gonna actually send to the access program both fields. But when we look at the data, we have set the bound column to column two. So the value that's actually going to be represented under the scenes, uh, invisible to the user, is going to be the auto ID or that ID column that we had listed there. So by this, we can pass that ID to the program or to our VBA code so that we can then go take a look and look up a particular record by its product ID that's listed down here. So let's take a look at how we would do that then, okay? I already have the properties box up over here, so I'm gonna to go to the event tab. And by going to the event tab on the after update, in other words, after I've updated this to a record, I want to then do something with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, it's going to be an event procedure. And when I click on the ellipse here, that ellipse, will show me all of the code that I've written under this form products example. Now, right now there's no, no code written, but it gives me this header, you know, the private subroutine, and then the end sub, and we need to fill in our code in the middle. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with my, uh, my slow typing, so I'm gonna go quickly grab the snippet of code from a notepad that I have off to the side. And now what I wanna do is explain it. So here, Here's the name of the tech, the uh, combo box. Remember we said it was combo quick search. 
we're going to do an after update execution of this private subroutine. In other words, it'll fire off when that event fires off. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that it's not null. So if it is null, we're going to then end, end the subroutine. Okay. So if not is null, in other words, we're only going to execute this if it's not null. Then we're going to go here and say me dot text product ID set focus. Well, remember what text product ID was? If we just put this down for a second, that's this form right, this text box right here. So what we're going to do is change the focus. We're going to set the focus to that text product ID field. So the set focus routine goes right here. Now, if you were to want to execute this from the ribbon, you would be going up to the ribbon. You'd be hitting on the spyglass that's up in the, actually up in the title bar of access. And then you'd put in a value there. But the first thing you'd do is you'd put the cursor in the field that you want to search. So all this is doing is duplicating what you would do with your mouse in clicking the ID and, and then asking the ID to give you a particular ID of a particular car. Well, the nice thing about the combo box is we can show you the description of the car and we can choose the ID for the user without having them to figure out which ID belongs to which car. So the whole idea here is we're going to set the focus on that text product ID field and then we're going to do command find record. Now do command find record, of course, means we're going to look for a record. Well, what's the value we're going to send to that find record command? We're going to send it the value that's in DBO Quick Search. So me, meaning the current database, or CBO Quick Search, meaning that particular field, and give the value to this command. And when we do that, of course, the value that's going to give, remember what the bound column was? The bound column was the second column, which was the product ID, which we queried out of the data that is being shown in the form already. So we're referring right straight back to the form that displays the information. After we do that, we're going to end the subroutine and end the if statement, then end the subroutine, and it'll give the control back to the form. So let's go ahead. We've saved this. I'm going to make sure by hitting the save button. And we're going to minimize this. And let's go ahead and view this in form, form mode. And let's see what we find here. OK, well, the long description has the year and the name of the vehicle. OK, let's go down to the 1936 Cord 810. If we click on that, it looks like the ID for that one was 2. So it passed the ID to the product ID field, did a quick search, and moved it to that second record. You notice down here in the record selector, it is the second product ID, which happens to be, at this point, the second record in the table. Well, let's go look at another one. Let's look at a 1953 Skylark, Buick Skylark here. And when we click on that, that brings us back to record one. We see the picture of the Buick Skylark. And this happened to be the record that was there when we opened up the database. Um, so we see the Buick Skylark. And if we decide we want to go look at, let's say, some a 57 Corvette convertible, we got a yellow one there. And it turns out there's a couple Corvette convertibles I found in the database. Um, and I love cars anyway. So a 1959 one here that uh, was red. And so that the other one was yellow. So in summary, you know, that's a quick and easy way to write a small snippet of code and be able to pass that data to that code and get your form to quickly go to a particular record. If you want one last look at what the code looks like, here's the little, here's the notepad um, text that I took, that I copied from earlier. And you can see on the screen that it's just a very quick if then statement putting the focus on the text box, 
doing a do, do command find record and passing the value from the combo box. Look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Bye. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.